Hello. Today, I am going to present you with my predictions for the top 15 coasters at Kings Island. This is just a prediction video. I have not written any coasters there. This is just what I think the best coasters there will be. So at 15, we have the Great Pumpkin Coaster. This is just like a kitty coaster. Just okay. At number 14, we have Flying Ace Aerial Chase. Now, I've ridden Kitty Hawk at Carowinds, which is exactly the same, just different theme now. And it was actually pretty fun. Only got one headbang, so this is not a very bad ride. It's just pretty fun. At 13, we have Adventure Express. And this looks like to be one of the better mine trains, but it's not the longest ride. It has some good theming, too, though, especially for a chain park. At 12, we have Woodstock Express, and I've ridden Woodstock Express at Carowinds, and in the back, you get ejector, and it's really cool. So yeah, just a fun family coaster. At number 11, we have Backlot Stunt Coaster. This ride looks really fun. Great family coaster, a good launch, and everything, and good theming, too. Just looks like a very fun coaster for everybody. At 10, we have the Bat, and now you're starting to get into more of the thrilling coasters. This looks like a really fun ride, and the swinging looks fun and all that. It just looks like a great ride in general. At 9, we have Firehawk. Now, this may seem low to you, but, I mean, the other coasters are even better on this list to me, probably. I really liked Nighthawk at Carowinds, and I've heard this one's better, so I'm sure I'd love this ride. So... Yeah, these Flying Dutchmans are actually pretty fun, even though Nighthawk was pretty rattly. So I think I'll really like this ride. But I mean, I just don't put it much higher because I think everything else will be better. At number 8, we have Invertigo. I rode Flying Cobra. This is my only boomerang I've ridden, and it was super fun. So I'm sure this will be really fun, especially being inverted. So it'll probably be even better. But yeah, it just looks like a really fun ride, how you can face any way you'd like. I mean, you'll eventually go forwards and backwards anyways, but just you can face any way you'd like. At 7, we have Flight of Fear. Now, this one looks like a really fun ride with all the inversions, especially the ending when you suddenly gain a lot of speed and you fly through that corkscrew. It just looks like a really fun, smooth ride. At 6, we have Vortex. Now, I think this will rival my number one arrow coaster against Tennessee Tornado. This looks like a really fun ride. Some good inversions. Six, which is a ton, considering it's an arrow. It just looks like a really fun coaster. And it's pretty tall and fast, too. Oh, and I love how, they. to me, those loops look like balloons. It's just really funny. At number five, we have Racer. Now, this just looks like a fun racing coaster and a fun family coaster also. I've heard one side's better than the other. I think it was red, but both look really fun, and being right next to each other just looks like a great ride overall. Pretty family oriented too. Looks great, but just thrilling, too, and very fun. Looks to have some good airtime, too. At number four, I know, I know, I put Beast here. I mean, Beast does look really fun. I love Voyage, but just this ride doesn't look to have airtime at all, and I've heard it doesn't. The second drop looks like the one of the best parts of the ride. The drop just continues going because it's only at a 15 degree angle. But yeah, it looks like it it just goes on and on. But also it's not very bank very steeply banked turns, all that stuff. It just kinda looks almost a little boring. But I'm sure the night ride easily makes up for it, like Boss's Night Ride I've heard is great. At number three we have Banshee. And this actually looks like it's too much hate. It looks like a great ride. I actually really like vest restraints better than over the shoulder restraints. So I think this will be a great ride. And it's very big too and probably pretty forceful too. And I think this will become my favorite invert. At number two we have Diamondback, and I think this will also become my favorite hyper. It looks like a great ride with good airtime. This splashdown looks really fun. It's a pretty long ride, too, and it goes out into the woods. And the trains look pretty cool. I like the new ones. And it just looks like a fun ride overall. And, of course, as you'd expect, number one is Mystic Timbers. So I've ridden two GCIs, Kentucky Rumbler and Thunderhead, which are awesome and amazing and outstanding, really. And I cannot wait to ride this. It looks better than both of them and has so much ejector airtime, goes out into the woods. Just looks like an amazing ride in general, and I can't wait to ride this. 
hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll make another list once I've gone. Thank you. Bye.